This one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. Wow, this is the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. <laughs> no one rests until this doll is back in a box. Oh, yeah, that looks funny. It does, doesn't uh, it? I got, can't wait to watch that It's got one. me written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> it lands in cinemas July 20. Good to have your company this morning. It's coming up at 6 a.m. Sydney Inferno, a six-storey building engulfed in flames. Firefighters forced to dodge the crumbling walls. Investigations now underway to find the cause. Power price pain, household bills to soar by 25%, businesses even more, hundreds added to your annual payments. Dramatic footage released the moment a 15-year-old boy is arrested after an alleged school shooting. The Great Migration, why more and more Aussies are packing their bags and heading north. How Tina Turner changed the NRL forever. You're simply We catch up with league legends Wayne Pearce and Benny Elias. Plus, Australia's top cop calls out our youngest generation why Gen Z is being called needy. And Michael Bublé is here. We catch up with the Canadian superstar as he gears up for his Aussie tour. Today, Friday, the 26th of May. Sing it, 2023. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's begin this hour with one of the biggest fires Sydney has seen in 50 years and a danger that's far from over the blaze gutting two unoccupied buildings in Surrey Hills. The fire so fierce, walls exploded and crumbled under the heat of the flames. Right now, those structural issues are the reason why roads are closed, with diversions in place for Elizabeth, Chalmers and Randall Streets in Surrey Hills. The bravery of firefighters can't be understated. This is what they came up against, and they walked away with no loss of life. Let's bring in reporter Sarah Stewart live in Surrey Hills this morning. Sarah, police are still on the scene this morning. Yeah, that's right. So let's show you what's happening here this morning. There is actually quite a big police presence. They're on every corner because there are so many roads closed. If you look up, we've just had some of them move to go further up and have a look. There is a fire truck. Where that fire truck is up the road, that is just in front of the building. We are told that as the sun comes up, more people will be coming here. We're also told that at 7am this morning, there will be an emergency response team assembled nearby at the police station. That will be all agencies coming together to try and investigate how, how this play has started, but also what response to do now. As you said, some of those walls are still in danger of crumbling and lots of people are still evacuated here this morning. So in just about an hour's time, that's when we're going to see that happen as well. But when you look at those pictures from yesterday afternoon, it is incredible that no one lost their lives. Surrey Hills, the heart of Sydney, stops dead. Embers and ash rain down. Flames and smoke tower above. Explosions rock an already rattled street. And then everything crumbles. The heat, the intensity, so fierce, the building peels open. I'm a bit in shock myself because I was right here. It was really loud and I was, I was like scared for the people that were around there. And then I could even feel the, the flame like rain. Oh, it was, it was scary and traumatic. Neighbours want strangers waiting together for when they could return home. Based on what we could see from the outside, all the windows were completely smoked up. Emergency services stepping in to rescue the four-legged locals all right, oh, oh, did I get her? who couldn't evacuate themselves. <laughs> and through the darkness and smoke, silhouettes of night watchmen, the firemen and women who took on one of Sydney's most terrifying blazes and emerged without a single life lost. Oh, incredibly lucky and I think it's a, a good reflection on the response of the community. The only injury reported was a very minor injury to one firefighter but thankfully they are okay but as I said no idea on what caused this fire yet. Sarah? Thanks so much Sarah. The federal government is continuing